Hi guys and welcome to another kit review. Okay, so today as you can see we are doing a kit from ICM. It's a 135th scale and the kit number is 35708 and it is their World War I British tank crew. Okay, so this is purely a figure kit. You do just get the four figures. You do not get the Mark IV female tank in the background. I picked this one up for around uh, $14 Australian. And I got this to go with my MHA um, World War I Mark IV male tank. Okay, I thought this would be a really nice little accessory for that tank. As you can see, the four figures, you get three standing, one kneeling. These would all be um, officer figures, I would assume. You have, um, obviously, a rear area officer, forward area officer, and these two gentlemen here would probably be tank commanders from these Mark IVs parked in the background. Okay, really nice box art. It's actually really beautiful, and I wouldn't mind having that as a um, little poster or something like that. Okay, so there's the box. Let's have a look. On the outside, you've just got what it contains, where it's made in Ukraine, and on the other side, some very basic drawings of the four figures, showing you exactly what they look like. Okay, so that's the box. Let's have a look. So, usual ICM, really nicely packed. So I'll get this off if I can, without damaging it. So you have your cover piece and a really nice solid box. Open her up. There's your paperwork. And there is only one sprue in this kit because it is purely figure kit, okay? This is ICM's little paperwork for after sales service and having used their after sales service because I did have a piece missing from my 48 scale Heinkel many years ago they sent me the whole sprue not just the um, piece so ICM doing it right okay they are in Ukraine I'm in Australia they didn't have a problem sending it all this way okay so um, yes it is uh, April 2022 we are right in the middle of the Russian invasion of Ukraine so hopefully when Ukraine wins okay all of this will get back to normal and ICM Minia and the rest of them will get back and up and away we go again okay so away we go with that this is your Brew layout painting guide for the kit, okay? Fairly simple, fairly straightforward, all right? In Tamiya and Ravel colors. So use your preferred paint manufacturer. On the other side, shows you how to paint them, okay? Fairly simple, fairly straightforward. But I would use your Google references to add a little bit of um, contrast and... Um, a bit of life to your figures okay so that is how you put these things together and let's have a look at the spray so being ICM this is a resealable bag all right and I do like that it is a brilliant idea because if you have loose parts you can keep them in a resealable bag right so let's have a look at the sprue okay okay so let's have a look there is oops sorry that went out of focus come on focus there you go the face details the uniform details on these officers turn this guy around so you can see his face there you go really nice Really? 
really good detail, right? So there isn't much in the way of accessories. You get your uh, gas mask pouches for the front of the uniforms and pistols, caps and, and etc. But that's literally it. Remembering that these are tank crew. Let's have a look at your faces, gentlemen. There are the faces of the ICM. So you do. So you do get separate arms, separate heads, torsos and legs. Fairly straightforward, but I do like the detail on the faces is really nice. The detail on the uniforms, nice and crisp. So there's no flash on this. Yes, there is a bit of cleanup along the mold line, but that is normal. Okay. But the facial details. That's really nice, okay? I will give you close-ups of all of these anyway. But I'm impressed by that. It is purely a figure kit. But these are nicely done, and they do represent World War I uniforms. From what I've seen, they are quite accurate. And that's it, guys. That is ICM's World War I British tank crew, okay? Kit number is 35708. Uh, came out in 2019 okay so it is a very new kit really nicely done love the detail on the faces very crisp very sharp and um, I'm looking forward to actually building this one okay figure kits are always a bit mm -hmm, but this one I don't mind at all okay and that brings us to the end of this review so as usual Thank you for your likes and your subscriptions, your comments, always appreciated. And um, that's it. Thank you for all of that. And until next time, as usual, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you later.